Good morning, guys. I am Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 15 children, and I am currently in the NICU with our baby number 15. A couple people were asking what the rest of the children were up to while I was here. So this video is just sharing some of the tidbits of what they're doing. So let's go visit the kids on the Cape. So this is the bridge that you go over in order to get on the Cape, which is a man-made island. And then here is the house that we're staying at. It's super cute. Um, yeah, there's a little backyard and yeah, it's just really super cute. I love the kitchen. It's just very friendly and homey. Um, and the back porch comes right off of that kitchen with a double slider there. Yeah, this is the, there's a pantry there and then the kitchen. So they kind of are attached and the pantry's over to the right. So the kids were playing. Um, so here the kids are out back of the house and they are playing croquet, which actually came with this rental. There is a shed full of outside toys. And this is also part um, within walking distance of this beach right here. There's a private beach with, I think they said like 10 to 12 houses that can use that beach there. So some days they like to do some schoolwork and my little miss who just turned four wanted to do schoolwork as well. So she is sharing what she did. She was all proud of herself for making the letter A. And so over here, they are at that beach again because it's within walking distance and they go there pretty much every day. So this park here is actually a park next to um, the park that's like private property park. They're like adjoined together. So a lot of times they like to go over to the other beach park that is there right by the house that we are renting. She found a huge seashell. This nice woman, she actually came out of her house that's in like this little private area and gave them all these massive conch shells. And then we started finding them ourselves. So the kids found some beautiful conch shells and they've since cleaned them up and um, used, I think some bleach they said to like clean them off so they're nice and they're gonna bring those home. So yeah, they just like to go at all different tides down to the water and check things out. We've also been going around to different local parks, just Google searching parks and letting the kids run and play and have fun. Um, usually in the mornings we're doing some sort of park or whatever, not we, my daughter has bring, bring them to parks in the morning. Um, I love that picture, so sweet, my little baby girl. And so, yeah, pretty much we made a schedule and in the morning time before nap time, they will go out and do something daily. So that might be um, going to a different beach or going to a park. And then this, um, that was at the house. And then in the afternoon, they usually try to walk down to the beach that's right by the house. So my kids are so used to being outside. They're outside like 24 seven pretty much. And so just to have a small backyard with not too much to do is kind of challenging for them, but they found fun things to do inside as well. They are playing this game here where you put the things on your head. As you can see, I think it's called head bangs or something like that. They're also doing school. My little just turned four year old wanted to do school with her brothers and sisters and she was making the letter A, so proud of herself. So this is the beach they go to in the afternoons. So fun. And then the beach next door. So pretty much every day they're at the beach, which there's so many things people say, well, it might be weird to be going where it's chillier outside um, this time of year, but there's so many things to do and discover at a beach because it's just such a different zone that you're in. You can collect shells, there's sand, there's sand castles, there's just room to run and play and discover what the beach has to offer. So on when I was down there, this is a picture of all of us at JFK Memorial Park um, that is in Hyannis, Massachusetts, and we went there. I used to live literally within walking distance of this when I was 18 and had my first apartment. It was right there. And so I took the kids there and they had fun. It's probably about half an hour from where, well, probably less, 
maybe 20 minutes from where they were staying. So, yep, all the lovely shells that they're finding. And there was a bunch of birds over on this little dock. The kids got a kick out of that. And they put a new park in there. A new park. It probably been there for years. I just haven't been back. Um, so it is right there, right next to the JFK Memorial Park. We were thinking about going to the museum, but it's actually quite pricey. So we're just going to read about um, the Kennedy family. So... This is a picture we had gone that day to the store as well and I had bought them some new baby dolls and um, baby doll carriages so they would have something to play with because if you remember we started camping. So this is um, Bass Hole and so there is a huge boardwalk that goes out over the water and this is just another um, place that they went in the morning time and this is a really cool place see you can see far out there so it's a like shallow bay type area and you can see far out and the boardwalk is so long i think part of it broke off on a hurricane years ago but yeah and then um the next morning or a couple mornings later my husband took them with the girls to or with the kids to um the windmill beach and so this is the windmill that was there they also went to seagull beach so these are various pictures that they sent me from there to say, hey mom, look what we're doing. So fun. So when I was home, um, home, I keep saying home to various places. I don't know where my home is anymore, guys. Um, so when I was on the Cape doing those meals, which I shared with you guys, um, we actually, me and my daughter made a schedule for what the days would look like over the next few weeks. So she decided that it would be good to get out of the house um, once a day. So basically it's get up, get dressed, um, eat breakfast, head out and do something out in the community, whether that's a beach or a park or um, library or something like that. Do something in the community until um, it's time to come home for lunch. And then they would have a nap time or a quiet time pretty much watching a movie and or doing schoolwork. And then um, they would walk to the beach in the afternoon and some people might bring books or like free reads or that type of stuff um, to the beach. And then in the evening time, they would eat supper and read a read aloud and or the Bible. So um, that's kind of the loose schedule that they set up, that we set up for that time frame so that is what has been working for them for the next couple weeks and just as we're starting to get on that schedule it's time to change it all around so pretty soon we'll be changing it all around and we will be sharing that and what that looks like and who's staying where and yeah all the fun stuff but for now this is what the kids and my um, older daughter have been up to so i hope it blesses you